do you feel like sad to say bye to Billy Kay? Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. Yes. Yeah. She was, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to get like emotional. <laughs> no, it, but it's okay. I mean, you guys spent so much time doing that and building this equity in yourselves and in these characters. Like, of course it's emotional. Yeah. We, I, I really had to like grieve her. Cause like, she's no longer, a, like, she's always a part of me, but like, she's no longer out there. Like she's gone. Yeah. So it's tough, man. It's very tough. Do you feel the same way, Cass? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, like, and it's funny, if I were to name myself now, I would name myself Peyton. I love the name Peyton. Mm. So, um, and then like, so Jess's birthday is coming up next month and I'm, I've been thinking about what I might get her. And I was Ooh. thinking back to last year and I a got- A trademark her- perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, last year I got her, um, I got her and myself name necklaces and her said Big Bill for Billy and mine said Payro. And I looked at it, I saw it this morning and I was like, oh, it's such a nice necklace, but like, why am I going to wear it? And it cost me, yeah. cost me a pretty penny too. Oh, but look, I did the exact same thing. I saw my necklace, my big bill necklace. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it I is a like- very interesting, like, uh, you know, Jess, you saying it being like a grieving process. It does feel like that. I mean, I feel the same way. I still get moments like that. And I've been gone for you know, seven, eight months at this point, something like that. And you get those moments of like, you just feel like you're like left out of things and you're away from your friends. Like I, like aside from like my husband, who else am I really hanging out with? You know, like I hung out with people at work. So to now be away from that is like, it's such a weird, it's a mind. It really is. And like, it's exactly the same for us. Like after it happened, you know, I was, I was having all these feelings that I had never had before and, and my emotions were up and down and I was like, what's going on? And I got out my phone and I literally Googled, can you grieve the loss of a job? And I was looking at like the seven steps of grieving the job and just like all that because I was like, I need to figure out what's happening right now so I can mm-hmm. kind of I just – push through and kind of move on with my life um but that was like I was like oh my gosh like I I really am grieving right now and I have to give myself that time to fully do that because I was like I was so like stubborn like okay I'm gonna give myself two days two days to sit on the couch and then and then I'm gonna be back on top of the world and then it turned into a week and then it turned into two weeks and then it turned into a month and I was like okay stop putting your time on it you're going to be fine when you feel better. You can't just like, there's no time to go through this properly. You just have to go through it. Was there any like steps or like suggestions on ways to deal with something like this? A lot of it is, I kind of already do it like meditation. Mm -hmm. Um, Journaling is something that I've done. I'm doing like a May challenge. So for the whole like month of May, I've been journaling every day, reading because I stopped reading and meditating and that really helped and then also like just I was in the house I didn't leave my house for like three weeks I was just doing nothing so just getting out of the house going for a walk with my puppy um and and talking to my friends and family because after it happened um I I called Cass and I was like I I can't talk to anyone like my friends and family are calling me and I'm not answering on purpose because Mm -hmm. I just I felt I was ashamed I felt like I'd let everyone down, like everyone sacrificed so much for me to get here and, and it was just over. And I was like, like, I was just, it took me a long time to kind of talk to everyone. She was, Cass was the only one. And, and I, I hate to say it, but I'm so glad we got released together Right. because like, I mean, our journey has been like together this whole time. But if one of us hadn't had gotten released and one of us hadn't, like that would have been a completely different like of course even yeah. 10 times worse so I'm so glad that we can go through this together and really su- like support each other through this time Cassie how have you been holding up I have my days um the first I want to say three weeks was so rough um but these last couple weeks I've really just been focusing on trying to like schedule my days I've got nothing to do I've got no job I've got nowhere to be who has anything to do <laughs> but I feel like if I at least structure my days to have a plan, just take it day by day. Um, so I feel good overall, but I do have those days. Um, like last week, I 
cried myself to sleep one day and it just hits me out of nowhere and just these emotions. And now we're getting closer and closer to the end of the 90 days. And I can just feel those emotions like intensifying again when I finally feel like I've kind of got had a grasp of them. So I'm a bit nervous for the next six weeks or however long it is, but um, it, it's been rough. And like Jess said, I was, I was embarrassed. Um, and it shouldn't, shouldn't be like that. We didn't do anything wrong. Like, no, it was <laughs> shocking I'm, that this no, happened. I, I, Not to be, I need to stop swearing, but it was <laughs> shocking. <laughs> there you go, you're fine. You're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm pregnant. I'll do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody mess with me right now. But it, it is such an odd, like, you know, just like the timing of, I mean, even like, you know, for my situation of, of walking away and I, I left after SummerSlam of last year and I was in Jacksonville with John, we were down there, they had a pay-per-view or something. I spent like a week or something out in Florida with John. And he was like, just take this time and relax. And I was like looking forward to it. But as soon as I actually left and was done, I was a crazy person. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't like, I'm like calling my agent. I'm call like, I'm trying to like pitch show ideas. Like, I'm coming up with stuff. And John's like, pump the brakes. Like, <laughs> It's really hard to adjust to that sort of pace that we've had in that work ethic yeah. that one needs to have in order to succeed in WWE yeah. and then trying to figure out what those next steps are. It can be, it's just so confusing and so many thoughts kind of come and go in your brain and it's, it's overwhelming. That's a really good point. And I actually didn't think of that. We're so used to this, like incredibly fast pace that we live at and that we adapt at um and so go from that to like nothing maybe that's as well why I just needed a schedule for my day because we're just so used to go 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 and then being forced to stop it's like well now I feel like I'm just being content with my life which I'm not but I feel like I have to be yeah and, and like you said it's like okay what can we do that's why Jess and I were like let's do a podcast and then we've had all these I hear that sister <laughs> <laughs> I had all these ideas for such a long time and now it's like, hey, let's do them all, but we can't. Yeah. <laughs> because of that, we're so used to going. Yeah, you like almost turn into like Tasmanian devil of like <laughs> wanting to like throw everything against a wall and you're like, I, I'm in like, it's also like a feeling of wanting to like, prove everyone else wrong as well oh, yeah. too of like how dare you like put me in the spot or whatever. Like I have a lot to offer that you want to just like, make your platform as big as in like impactful as you possibly possibly can. Wow. Do I speak for a living? Is this the one? Hello. Um, okay. So, I mean, we're going to get into like all of the good happy stuff uh, in a moment okay. because it's, it's not all doom and gloom. And I, I really truly am such a believer of like, Things happen the way that they are supposed to happen. You guys are so immensely talented, have such a passionate fan base. Like I can't imagine two other women that have been able to, or not even just women, two other performers that have been able to connect with their fan base the way that you guys have. And like I said, it was like, it was so shocking when this all kind of went down that it's all going to be fine, but it's going through this bull. <laughs> at first to kind of, you know, come out on the other side and figure out what's what's going to make the most sense.